So, of course, I'm sure you're well aware that yesterday the Super Bowl happened. And with the Super Bowl usually comes a ton of commercials. Some people look forward to the commercials more than anything. We also got a lot of trailers for movies that are coming out, notably a pretty big trailer for the upcoming Flash movie, which I don't know what they're going to do with that movie, especially with Ezra Miller. That's a whole other topic. It's kind of funny, though, that Michael Keaton's Batman was prominently featured in that trailer. They are going to use him to sell that movie. And (laughs) I watched Critical Drinker's video on this, and he's right. They're going to oversell him because he's the only reason to go watch that movie. The only reason I would even consider watching it is just to see him in the suit again and how good he can be. He actually looked really good in the trailer. He did, I'm not going to lie, and say, oh, it was terrible. No, he looked really good in it. Uh, Some of the stuff he did in it was pretty cool, especially that scene where he drops down to hit a bad guy. Uh, This is interesting. I don't know. That movie probably will do very well. I've talked about it before. It's got high scores with audiences. In fact, I, I read somewhere, it's up there, test audience scores for that movie are up there with No Way Home. So it's a big, we'll see. But it's got a problem, Ezra Miller. So we'll see where things go with that. The other, the other one that I liked, the Super Mario Brothers commercial, which was pretty much a commercial of their plumbing business. Now, the cool thing about this is this is fan service to, to the 10th power. Like, this, is, this was great. They even used the old song from the original cartoon that had a live-action segment. It's amazing. There was also a trailer for this little movie that has a little bit of a hype. I think it comes out pretty soon, actually. It's called Cocaine Bear. It's about a bear who gets hopped up on the snow and goes on a rampage. It's supposedly a true story. I don't know how, how true it is. I haven't looked into it. Now, when I first initially saw this trailer, I thought it was cool. And then I found out who was directing it. It's, of course, Elizabeth Banks. Now, who is Elizabeth Banks? Well, you might remember her best from the colossal flop, Charlie's Angels, the rebooted version that came out last year. I think it was last year, right? Colossal flop. Uh, She blamed men. I said, men are garbage, not showing up. First, she said, this movie isn't for you. Don't bother. And then she was mad that they didn't show up to watch her movie. Now, what's funny about this article is this article actually talks about that little incident and lets her off the hook. I want to just read you this quote. I took full responsibility for Charlie's Angels. Certainly no one else did. Pink says, fixing me with a hard stare. It was all laid on me. And I happily accept it because what else am I supposed to do? Now, that is a lie. She blamed everybody but herself. And the funny thing about this is now outlets are running with it. MovieWeb puts out a whole article. Elizabeth Banks takes full responsibility for Charlie's Angels reboot flopping. That is a lie. It's not true. A whole article out on that one Little quote. The film was a colossal failure, and she 100% did blame men. She blamed sexism, actually. This is from 2019. Charlie's Angels director Elizabeth Banks blames sexism for box office crash. She got a lot of heat for that. This is when she said that men won't go see women in action movies, which is a complete lie. Uh, Men will go see women in action films. Uh, The problem is a 2019 women action film isn't going to be exactly what you think it would be. It's going to be trash. And it was trash. It was a colossal flop. We'll come back to that. But there was a ton of articles on it. Uh, One of my favorites was the one by Bounding in the Comics. Charlie's Angels director Elizabeth Banks blamed men for box office failure nearly a week before film hit theaters. (laughs) 
showing you just how crazy she is. Maybe maybe this new bear movie will will be a, a redemption arc for her. I don't know. After finding out that she was the director of it, kind of makes me not so excited to see it. I'll probably wait and see what people say about it before I go watch it because she's the director, and she's made a lot of shit. That Charlie's Angels movie is garbage. Here's the heat she got for it. Elizabeth Banks slammed after claiming men are less likely to watch Charlie's Angels because males don't go see women do action movies, which, like I said, not true. Uh, she got a ton of heat for this. ton of heat. And then she tried to bring it back and say, you know, I was happy to accept failure. And that's not true. Uh, she blamed everybody but herself. Uh, here's some of the responses. Elizabeth Banks is so talented, but she is saying such idiotic things. Charlie Angels will flop, not because men don't want to see it, because the marketing for it is so effing atrocious. Nobody wants to see it. Superheroes aren't a male genre. I love you, Elizabeth Banks, but that's completely erasing the, emo the amount of female, non-binary, non-gender conforming fans of these heroes that haven't given us a bright place to escape to when the world hates us. It doesn't belong to cis white male. Liz Banks does know that women didn't want to see her Charlie's Angels movie either, right? I get it. Hollywood and the world really is frustrating and sexist as heck, but she should just face facts. As tough as it is, her movie just didn't look appealing to people. And then there's another one right here. Elizabeth Banks blaming the poor reception to Charlie's Angels on societal norms. Woke Charlie's Angels didn't do well because the marketing was shit and look all around like a cash grab that was trying to bank on an old franchise when people are getting tired of reboots. So it's just funny. Like they're trying to actively say that this didn't happen. That's what this article is. Elizabeth Banks takes full responsibility, which is not the truth at all. She blamed everybody but herself for that movie flopping. And she's still salty about it. Uh, so there's this whole paragraph pretty much talking about how it was a humiliating flop. After the rousing success of her directorial debut, 2015's Pitch Perfect 2, about an all-female team of Capella singers, a cappella singers, Banks' second film in 2019, Charlie's Angels, about an all-female team of covert spies based on the late 70s TV show, was kind of a humiliating flop that young directors, especially women, don't recover from. It was just that the $48 million film, which Banks also produced, wrote, and starred in, returned only $73.3 million worldwide. She stepped into a social media firestorm when an interview about how women in action films are received was interrupted as her blaming the film's poor reception on sexism after the film opened. Banks tweeted, well, if you're going to have a flop, make sure your name is on it four times. And then she says, I took full responsibility for Charlie's Angels, which is a lot. A lie. If this movie flops, her career as a director is likely done. Uh, maybe. I mean, Mindy Kaling is still getting work. So I'm not so sure if this will be a nail, a nail in her career coffin. But it most certainly could be. The thing that she has going here is I don't think this movie is going to be about feminism, which she seems to be obsessed with after looking at that awful Charlie's Angels movie. But I just find the damage control funny and they'll run it all day long for someone like elizabeth banks they'll run it all day long even try to cover shit up but this was a mistake to run this article it's not helping it just drums up old memories of her shitting on the audience which is exactly what this was anyway we'll see about Co we'll see about this coke bear and how it does i uh, i'm imagining it will probably do a lot better <laughs> than charlie's angels but that's not a hard feat Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed to that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free, but if you are a supporter over here i do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me 
Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.